Graphics, and today we're going to be looking at how to generate simple maps using p5.js. First we'll declare our map object, as well as the four functions that we're going to be using. Set up to call the other functions, make map to initialize our map object and fill it with colors, pick color to pick each pixel's color in the map, and draw a map to output those colors to the screen. Setup is called immediately after hitting the play button. So we simply create a canvas object and call make map and draw map. In make map, we use nested for loops to declare a 2D array of colors with width and height equal to the width and height of our canvas object in pixels. For now, let's initialize those colors with random values between black and white. In draw map, we use another pair of for loops to set each pixel of the screen equal to its corresponding color in the map object. This means if we hit play now, we will see a canvas filled with random colors between black and white. To smooth out our noise, we're going to switch from using the random function to using the noise function. This means declaring a noise scale and a noise detail. The noise detail determines how many layers of noise are used to generate the final number. And the noise scale determines how spread out or packed together the peaks and valleys of our noise will be. Unlike the random function, the noise function can take in coordinates. In this case, we will pass in the pixel's coordinates multiplied by our noise scale. This gives us a much smoother field of values, which leads to much smoother, more cloud-like outputs. We will use this to create our pick color function. But first, let's declare a few colors corresponding to different types of terrain, like ocean, shore, sand, grass, stone, and snow. In pick color, we will declare a height value using our noise function from before as well as initializing a color variable and setting it equal to pink so we know if something goes wrong. We will then set different height thresholds for each of the different colors that we defined above. At the end, we convert the color string into a color object and return it. This gives us a simple map with colors corresponding to different types of terrain. The last thing that we'll do is smooth out the bands between the different colors by using dithering. We do this by randomizing the color used inside each band using the intermediate height values as our probability. This means we need to map each height band to be a number between 0 and 1, and then compare that to the size of a randomly selected number. In this case, we offset the band so that the values in the band are between 0 and 0.1, and then we square it and multiply by 100 to make sure the values are between 0 and 1. Squaring the values before scaling them up gives the resulting dithering a smoother slope. If you hit play now, you will see our final map. That's it for this week's tutorial. If you'd like to mess around with this code, there's a link to it in the description. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.